Good afternoon. Welcome to another edition of Growing in Grace. I'm your humble servant, Chico Whitaker. Um, today, we're going to talk about something that uh, not a famous subject to talk about. And it's because of uh, a lot of people are petrified when they hear this. But the uh, subject we're going to talk about today is spirits. Yes, spirits. But before we get into that, um, I'm going to go to the throne of grace. Heavenly Father, we come to you in the name of Jesus. Lord, we ask that you open up our eyes and give us understanding concerning your words. But most of all, Lord, we pray that we be able to draw closer to you, Lord. Heal the sick, cast out the devil, and um, bless the poor, Lord. These blessings we ask in Jesus' name, and in Jesus' name, amen. Now, there's a verse in Proverbs that says, My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. For the lack of knowledge. So because of this, a lot of times we venture into the unknown. We are in danger every day. Every day that we live, because of fallen angels that walk the earth. But God gave us a helper. He gave us a helper. Helper, as it says in St. John, I will pray unto my Father that he will give you a helper, that he may abide with you forever. The Comforter. Read St. John 14, 26, or the whole chapter. God will give us a helper to get by. You slip on the snow and break your toe. Do you blame God? Heck no. A crime is committed every two minutes in the world somewhere. Someone is robbed or pistol whooped by bad people. We see on the news, or we heard that someone had got carjacked. Because these people do not have the spirit of fear in their heart. They think they can do anything. Come one, come all. You get an ad telling you to come. There's someone there will be telling you about your future. Do you answer the ad and go to the program? That choice is up to you. Because you are curious and you want to know more about your future. I can remember when I was gro growing up, you couldn't turn on the TV late at night without seeing these infomercials. 976 or the, uh, the uh, astrology hotline you call the 1-800 number, 976, whatever the number would be on the infomercial. And you have certain people that tell you that they can predict your future. You go to certain places and you see individuals that have tarot cards in the window. Your curiosity gets the best of you. Do you uh, have them to reach your palms? Do you call the psychic hot hotline? Do you pray or read your Bible? There's a verse that we all use that says, Curiosity killed the cat. Well, whether you choose to believe that or not, that is entirely up to you.
But if you do choose to get your palms red, exercise tarot cards, go to a gypsy, I just want you to know, demons will and can attack you. Do not practice the unknown. When I say the unknown, I'm talking about voodoo, witchcraft, TM. For those that you don't know what that means, that's a mystic philosophy or mystic uh, is transcendental meditation, exorcism, mystery worship, just to name a few. The reason I'm telling you this because uh, Ephesians 6 and 12 tell us we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities. Now, if a lot of us that have dreams and dreams can come true, I think it's fair to say half of us will probably be in the hospital and sign the silent or perhaps dead. Not only through dreams, but nightmares. Let me tell you what happened to me one time. Uh, it was only a few years ago, I don't recall when, maybe six uh, six, uh, ten years ago, I was at dialysis. And I dozed off. While I dozed off, I had a nightmare. I dreamt that I was at my former employer, Farmer Jack's. And while I was at Farmer Jack's, I was waiting on someone on the cashier. Now, remember, this was a nightmare. Uh, every time I ring somebody up, I seen a hooded figure. This hooded figure had a dark robe, but didn't have no face. I must have seen this figure about seven or eight times. I didn't know what it was, but this was in the broad daylight. And I was petrified. I seen this uh, person or thing while I was uh, taking a nap in my chair. Now, while I was taking a nap, one of the technicians woke me up. They say, Mr. Whitaker, are you all right? Are you all right? And I said, uh, sure. They said, we didn't know what, what was, what was uh, happening to you. Were you having a heart attack or what? Because they say I kept shaking and wiggling. But I had no conscience of that. Uh, I know um, some time to time I suffer from... Um, uh, sleep trouble or sleep apnea, and they tell us when you wiggle your eyes, blink your eyes, and go and so forth. And they tell us about REM sleep, but I don't know how long I dozed off. But the tech told me I was shaking, and they thought I was gonna fall out the chair. They woke me up. And I was troubled because I had no knowledge of this. But like I say, if dreams and nightmares can come true, a lot of us probably wouldn't make it. Because we, some of us dreamed that um, people was after us and, uh, you know, we were shot or something else. Something terrible might have happened to us 
But God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of love and a sound mind. So I just want you to know, let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in God, continue to believe in him. Now, Ephesians uh, 6 and 12 says, For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and, and powers, against the rulers of dark, darkness of the world, and against the spiritual witnesses, witnesses in high places, wickedness. Wherefore, take on the whole armor of God, that you may be able to stand. Now, in order to stand, you must feed your body. You must feed, feed your spirit. You must get into the word of God. Because trouble is all around us. And if you're not careful, you can fall into it. You can be deceived. How many times we turn on our TV and we seeing a priest or somebody try to exercise a demon out of uh, one another? You've seen it in the Exorcist movie and a lot of these other shows that's coming out. Be carefully what you let into your spirit. Now, if you have young kids and you letting them watch all horror shows, uh, it can have a trauma, a, trauma, a trauma effect on their lives. They can be scared to sleep at night. They might want to sleep with their parents. And they might have nightmares. Sometimes things scare us so tight, we have a heart attack. But the Bible tells us, my peace I give unto you, not as the world give unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. So today, I'm telling you, Demons are real. Satan is a fallen angel. And he's come to destroy the world. So be prayed up. Search the scriptures. Matthew 11, 28 says, Come unto me, all he that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke and learn upon me, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Just want to leave you with the final message today. God loves you. And again, I'm letting you know that Grunning Grace is giving away turkeys this year. They do it every year to the homeless, the, the uh, veterans, those who are on low incomes, and senior citizens. I gave the number out a few weeks ago. We have uh, a certain amount of turkeys left that we've been passing out all last week. Uh, to get your name on the list, if you meet this criteria, the number is 313-221-4162. Thank you, and until next week's Maranathas, and may the Lord richly bless you. Amen.